I prepared a chart. And this is a chart that I think says in another way what he so profoundly provided us today. <clears throat> this chart to me represents beautiful, educated, moneyed black people all over America. It could represent black organizations, it could represent black churches, it could rep represent black social and civic organizations. And what you will notice about these beautiful black people all over America is that everybody is doing their own thing. Caught up in a Eurocentric value of rugged individualism. Having forgotten that it takes a village to raise a child. There is no power here, brothers and sisters. There is no power here. Power is most effective concentrated. You can take a 55 gallon drum of water, spill it over, it will disperse, find its own level and eventually evaporate. You can take that same 55 gallon drum of water, put it under pressure, put a lid on it, put a hose in it, put a nozzle on the end of that hose and it can cut concrete. There is no power with us being disconnected. See, there's nothing wrong with dispersion. I live in Cleveland, you live in Atlanta. We have folk in the Caribbean, we have folk in Africa. That's dispersion, that's okay, but we do not have to be disconnected. We are a disconnected people. We are powerless in disconnection. This is where all the power is. You see? This is where all the power is. Whether you are at the center of your own network or part of someone else's network, this is where the power is. There's a beautiful, beautiful African proverb that says, when spiders unite, they can tie up a lion. When we connect, because we are disconnected, we're disconnected from those of like mind, we're disconnected from the best practices in our community. I don't care what it is that you want to do, what profession you want to engage in, what business you want to get into. I can introduce you to brothers and sisters all over America that is doing, they are doing it to death. You just don't know who they are. You are disconnected from them. There is no power in disconnection. Okay? When we connect, we prevent interlopers from coming into our communities and taking and destroying at will. Hi, George. Try to open up the Booker T. Washington delicatessen in Chinatown and see what happens. So we must connect. We must connect the dots. That must be the movement for our people in the 21st century. We need a lot of us doing a little instead of a few of us doing a lot. We need to get together to get ahead. That is why we must network.